right, hi my friends. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to react to um I forgot what she's called. Chris something. Oh Chris in real life, yes. Chris in real life, lovely lady. We're gonna do a react to her reaction to Alexandra. So I haven't watched this. But let's uh yeah, let's have a play and watch. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chris and I'm here today reacting to another Alex Rodriguez um, vlog. Uh, it's a titled ER Gets LASIK and Pregnancy Updates. I'm not really worried about Yara's eyes. I, I think he got his, his LASIK surgery. <laughs> We're not really worried about it either. It was quite boring. And it went good, so that's good. <laughs> but I'm just really kind of here for the pregnancy, health, diet, nutrition, weight loss, all that stuff. Well, non-weight loss, that's totally not happening. Um, for all the new viewers I've gotten over the past couple of days, wow, <laughs> it's a little overwhelming in the best way. A, a lot of people have come to the channel and subbed and are showing support, and I'm very happy and excited to have new viewers. Um, really casual around here. I'm learning the whole YouTube thing. I'm learning editing and stuff like that. Right now, my Reacts and vlogs are kind of bare bones. They're kind of raw, you know, so most people don't mind. I am a former nationally registered paramedic turned stay at home, proud mommy and artisan soap maker, jewelry maker. And that's what I do now. So I just give my opinions, try to give some informative information and share my crazy little life. More vlogs and stuff will be coming down the line as the weather gets nice here. So yeah, I share my own health, diet, weight loss journey. And hopefully you guys will join me for the ride. That being said, watch the videos and the content that you are interested in. If you're not interested in other things on my channel, that's fine too. Um, it is a very cold, dark, dreary day today in the northeastern part of the United States in which I hail from. So I have a nice hot cup of coffee. We are going to get into this. Alex is fed up for time. I will link her full video down below. If you hear any noise in the background, it's probably just the channel dog being a little crab or my kiddo afternoon routine and pregnancy edition it's so oh my gosh so nice to vlog like this is the first vlog that's not like pre-filmed from my first trimester diaries this is just this is just life now my first trimester diaries video goes up in a couple days so you guys haven't seen the announcement yet so it's still a secret in terms of right now but when you're watching it's out it's happening here we are i'm out of breath well i would assume that since she has been posting on youtube that a lot of her friends and family already know or maybe they don't watch her youtube i have told very few people in my real life that I have YouTube because it's like kind of a crazy thing and they might not understand it. Or That's very true. That's very true. No one apart from my husband and my nieces know that I've got this uh, and my sister that I do this just for fun. Or I don't want somebody who knows me to find my channel. Because they, they won't understand. They, they, I don't I understand exactly what she's talking about. They will not understand. They don't. They just don't get it. Unless you've followed this cow through from day one, you just won't get what why we do what we're doing. And maybe just see a couple things and not listen to what I have to say, and think that oh, I'm secretly online just this bully that picks on fat people, <laughs> and yeah, that's not. That's right. And we clearly are not. Well, I'm not, that's for sure, and I know this lady isn't. True, but it's just something that is my own, and I keep it to myself. But for as as large as Alex's following is, and because this is really, like, her job, I'd be surprised that more people in her personal life didn't know what was going on by what by way of her vlogs i uh, went to the gym this morning and took a shower and i just folded laundry and i'm having my favorite afternoon snack at the moment now with being pregnant this is a great time for her to just get used to doing those low intensity workouts are really good but just walking and swimming do a lot of <laughs> dream on chris low um impact more light activity but still make it a point to be quite active and that helps lead to a healthy pregnancy now <laughs> she's having one of her favorite afternoon snacks i'm sorry and this is going to sound mean but alex doesn't need a snack her sna no chris you're not mean you're not mean at all darling you're not mean fucking have you heard me <laughs> have you listened to me that's mean you are not mean you are just saying what everyone else is thinking she does not need a fucking snack. 
Before this, she went to the gym. Then she came back and had lunch. And then after lunch, she's having this snack. You're not mean at all. Snacks are on her booty and her belly and all the things. Like, she's still morbidly obese. She, she shouldn't be snacking. Even when she's pregnant. Because guess what? Being pregnant doesn't negate the fact that she's morbidly obese. Exactly. So, um... In my last react, I definitely um, kind of saw the writing on the wall that Alex was going to use this pregnancy as an excuse to eat all the things and eat what she Spot on. wants. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see here. <laughs> I'm having some of these little woven wheat crackers from Whole Foods. They're like Triscuits. And then... Okay. But Alex, just because they're from Whole Foods doesn't mean they're healthy. It's still a freaking Triscuit. Yep. Thank you. Oh my God. It's so lovely listening to this lady. You're so, f you fucking, you're spot on. She thinks just because of what it says on the box, if it says um, protein or if it says this or that, she thinks it's all of a sudden it's become healthy and then you can just gorge yourself on it. And like, it's not, it's not the worst thing. But she doesn't need to snack. No. This woman, despite being pregnant, doesn't need to be eating more and adding more to her daily food intake. She actually needs to still be cutting her calorie some. Or at the very least, not eating any more than what she was and just switching out to healthier whole foods. Um, because... It's not healthy to gain weight when you're pregnant when you are already severely overweight. So when people, I know there are some people that insist it is not safe. It's not healthy. You have to gain weight during a pregnancy. If you're extremely overweight or obese, no, that, that's just not true. And these pepper jack cracker cuts and it just hits a spot and some grapes, which I've already... Now, it's not a bad snack, but like I said, she doesn't need to be snacking. Now, mm -hmm. the grapes, they're little, like, sugar bombs. I could do without those. Have the crackers and the cheese. Or maybe have a, a more nutritious fruit, uh, some cherries or blueberries. Like, berries you can't go wrong with. But, uh, pomegranate. They're not sweet enough, although pomegranate is, but she wouldn't know what pomegranate was if it smacked her in the face. I'd love to smack her in the face. But um, she wouldn't know what pomegranate was. There's no way. She's too ignorant. I would stay away. You know, even kiwi. Stuff like that. I would stay away from the, the main high sugar fruits, which would be the, the grapes, the bananas, and pineapple. Yeah, Rinse, I've just been eating them out of the bag. It's my afternoon snack. My fatigue is... No joke, though. It's crazy the kind of Franken foods they're making these days. Uh, it was a year or two ago. My aunts bought my son these cotton candy grapes. And they're completely uh, manufactured food because cotton candy grapes don't exist in nature. But we tried them, and they were actually freaking delicious because they, they literally tasted like cotton candy. Just like cotton candy. They're the ones that she usually gets. She usually gets, now Chris probably doesn't know this, but she usually buys the cotton candy ones. She hasn't been lately. She's been going for those um, red grapes. They were so good and I love them, but they were just sweet like cotton candy. They were a little sugar bomb. Um, mm -hmm. They have these little teeny micro mini grapes that my son loves. We haven't seen them in a couple of years around here since the vid. Um, and they're really nice. They're teeny tiny. And we take them and stick bunches of them in the freezer. And then they're like these little tiny, just icy uh, little bites. And they're good. It's not good. It's not bad for a, of a snack for <clears throat> someone who's really fit and active, growing. Like my kid is not, he's not a fat kid. So I wouldn't suggest giving grapes to a fat kid. You know, stick to the, to the better fruits. But my son is lean and muscular and very, very active. So it's not too bad. But um, yeah, yeah, we ended up with a grape lesson. Sorry. It's getting so much better. My afternoon nausea is gone. It yeah, I didn't start getting nausea until... That was one of the things that tipped us off. 
that I might be pregnant. Because I started getting really nauseous by the smells of certain things. And that didn't go away until almost five five months, five and a half months in. And I could almost never keep my pregnant. Like seven, six to seven weeks, six to nine weeks was the worst. Where the nausea started to really ramp up. And then at like ten and a half, it started to get a little better, a little better, a little better. And now we're almost at 12 and no nausea. I never threw up. But there were definitely some afternoons where I was like, the nausea was just kicking. It was just really, really Girl, bad. Oh, you're lucky. I would get really nauseous at smells and stuff. And I worked in a restaurant. I was waitressing at a local little restaurant. So that sucked. But it was the the vitamin where I would have to try to eat something before I took it or I would have to be beside a garbage can or something because if oh. I took that vitamin mm. within five minutes I was it was just bad that did calm down like I said after about the five and a half six month mark but ugh, it's rough it, it can be brutal and, um, I felt just really horrible and it, like when I don't feel good physically it messes me up mentally so I was just a lot of a lot of days were just sad in the afternoon so it's so nice to feel more like myself again starting to get my energy back and well you're gonna go through these periods where you feel really weird and you don't feel like yourself and that's like just something that kind of happens throughout your pregnancy so I hope that she can manage that well mentally and, so I had, I had lunch early today I had lunch by like 11 30 so I'm gonna snack. and somebody else I want to shout out to a lovely reactor and her lovely audience who have taken me into their family so lovingly over the past few days. Uh, Priscilla P., I believe. Oh, that's lovely. See, she called you guys nice too. See how nice we are? She even brought up a good point. I was listening to some of her videos on Alex and stuff, and she brought up a good point. And the point being, how is Alex eating so much through her surgery? Like, since she's had... Yes. Hell, I would love to fucking know. The surgery, the bypass. And and the fact of the matter is, is I think at this point, I think she never really restricted that much after and that she probably started slowly stretching her stomach pouch back out immediately. Yeah, that's what I think for sure. But still, you can't really do it like immediately, immediately because you'd be throwing up all the time. Then again, maybe she did throw up all the time. She's not going to fucking tell us after the surgery as soon as she could get back on solid foods so i think it, it, the surgery is is almost non-existent the the restriction from the surgery is likely almost non-existent yeah exactly. in alex anymore because i think she just um exactly i think she just stretched it back out yep watching a little youtube i'm watching stephanie rose i feel like i ask you guys this all the time but please sorry i'm eating i'm talking please let me know your favorite vloggers I just love watching vloggers live their life. I don't mean anything spectacular. Just want to watch people live their life. And I also love like new moms, um, like new mom vloggers who are sharing their experience with like newborns. Oh. That would be awesome. So it's also very funny because my cravings, I didn't have a ton of cravings in the first trimester. There was a big period of food aversion, which. <laughs> okay, listen, I know technically you can get cravings at any time in your pregnancy. But like I said, most women don't even know they're pregnant unless they are like like Alex and actively trying and checking the early pregnancy reading tests. Most women don't know they're pregnant until about three to four months. Uh, like I said, I was about four and a half months when I found out. So even though you don't feel good, most women don't even know they're pregnant. And here's Alex talking about, oh, my cravings, my cravings, my cravings. We're doing this and doing yeah. that. It's like, it's it's we were so right that it's going to be a theme throughout our whole pregnancy and an excuse to like eat all the things and she can't get mad at people for saying this because look it's already happening like perfect example most women don't even know they're pregnant exactly at a point where you're already blaming cravings for exactly. eating more <laughs> i've never had before a lot of my favorite foods were just like a no-go um sorry if this is a little repetitive from the first trimester diaries but a little bit of an update to kick off this vlog here but like and i am glad that she is through her first trimester and that things are still good the first trimester is the most crucial time because that is the time when the egg is developing you know the zygote the embryo all the things they call it it's implanting and that is one of the most prevalent times where your body is going to determine if a pregnancy is viable or if there is a problem. So your risk of, of miscarrying I, are like really the highest in the first trimester. And if you can get past that first few months, you can breathe a, a big sigh of relief. It, it can absolutely happen. You can still miscarry later on in the pregnancy, which I do not wish on her or anybody. But it's just, it, it's, a, it's a much better sign, uh, at least for now. Um, that, that she got through her first trimester. So I'm really happy about that for her. I feel like it went from food aversion to when I did want to eat stuff, it was sweet. Like I wanted sweet. Oh, isn't that ironic that she wanted sweets? Isn't that shocking? And you know what? I, I really, it's like, I'm being like snarky, but my craving 
I had one craving and it didn't even hit until about six and a half weeks, seven weeks. I stuck to my diet, which was mainly just a low food, low food, <laughs> low carb, mostly whole food diet. I, I ate mostly eggs, uh, uh, some sautéed like peppers and onions and eggs and stuff like that sautéed in some coconut oil uh, chicken and um, broccoli and stuff like that that was most of my diet and I didn't eat a lot because an eggs a various different variety pickled eggs hot pickled eggs uh, boiled eggs hot pickled eggs Oh, that sounds disgusting. Sorry, Chris. It just sounds gross. Scrambled eggs, fried eggs, like I ate eggs. No, Brett, no, like very low carb. And my doctor was great with it. And some cheese, you know, that, that was the diet. But um, my my only craving was I just got this amazing urge to want to put maple syrup on everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it was bonkers. I actually had a dream that uh, I was eating and thoroughly enjoying uh, one of those McDonald's McGriddles. So my partner started once a week making me a homemade version of a mcgriddle <laughs> and when we like once a week we would go to this local a little bit of wine i just as far as i sailing um out and eat all the normally coffees and stuff all the time this afternoon in an hour so in about a half hour we're gonna head out and i'm gonna take care of him this afternoon we've been doing his eye drops um and yeah we'll see how it goes i think he's like the perfect candidate for it because he works out glasses always get like does she have those like are her cheeks like that yes <laughs> yes chris her cheeks are like that she has nothing in them she just always constantly looks like she is a fucking chipmunk that has stored them for the winter stored nuts in her mouth for the winter because of the because of the, the chin surgery uh, she, like I'm, I'm like don't trying to be mean i'm just asking like oh no 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 she's always been like that she's always <laughs> no she's always been like that she always looks like a squirrel who has yeah. nuts like <laughs> yes oh my god yes i swear to god you guys i have not watched this packed into its cheeks yes <laughs> i'm so glad i'm not the only one that thinks that see i call a chipmunk you know like she's very puffy yep and and, and her cheeks mm -hmm. and i didn't know if that was from that surgery or no no it's got nothing to do with the surgery love it's just the way her face is from the fat not because it really altered the shape of her face and she wasn't meant to gain weight back after she got that chin tuck because now it does look odd i think when she gets her makeup on and stuff she does look pretty that, that's like crazy when you look back at her her videos from many many years ago when she first started she was gorgeous she was so pretty mm -hmm. she was a bigger girl she wasn't morbidly obese at that point and wasn't sucked into the fat acceptance but it's just um it's really like kind of sad to see how fat acceptance has affected her as it does so many women and it's affected her health her fertility her size her mental health her appearance it's just really it's tragic buddy and foggy um he's also in the army and he has to wear special glasses there then he wears like daily contacts and that can get like rough when he's like out armying i just think he's like the perfect candidate for it and obviously while well, he's out armying <laughs> that's funny that's cute and yeah her husband is does seem to to be fit and in pretty decent shape i don't know why he isn't like on her more to lose weight so to see so we'll see how it goes I'm he, he probably has been she just doesn't listen but he also probably knows how fucking delicate she is you know the sweet delicate flower um how sensitive she is not delicate i was only being sarcastic how sensitive she is to anything that she would fucking literally have a breakdown if you mentioned anything about her weight i think excited to see i've heard of so many people she getting cannot do this fucking video without a grape in her hand and it's like basically from what i've seen and what i say it's like you go in it's really really quick it's hit or miss i used to work with someone on the ambulance a woman who had lasik done and she still needed her reading glasses and it, it didn't do too much to change her um her eyes it's I, it's really an individual thing i mean it can help and it works great for a lot of people but it doesn't always work for everybody numb your eyes you do the procedure a couple minutes per eye you come home and apparently it's very stingy but you just sleep through that and then you wake up and like feel good you can see that's what it sounds like so i'll keep you guys posted on if that is quite in fact how it works i don't know if there's anything else for me to react to in this video because i really i'm not gonna watch the whole lasik thing. better than crispy grape oh you please need to watch today's one i want to see Chris's reaction when she sees her legs in those shorts. A crispy, juicy grape. It has to have the crunch. If there's no crunch, I'm not doing it. Mm. I don't like grapes, and this is weird, okay? Because um, I'm very weird about fruit, like with the texture and stuff. I don't know why, but I always think that grapes remind me of if you ate an eyeball. That's kind of the texture. Oh, yuck. 
<laughs> Thanks, Chris. I'm going to be now um, thinking of that every time I have a grape. Sure, and the, like, burst of juice that would squirt out if you ate an eyeball. So that's why I don't like grapes, and I know that's really gross and weird. But, uh, yeah, that's just that's just me and where my mind goes, and I'm not big on grapes. I like those the flavor of those cotton candy grapes, but I didn't love the texture. And those little teeny tiny grapes are okay because you, when I stick them in the freezer, and they're like this little hard, icy, crunchy thing, but I don't eat them um, non-frozen. So <laughs> weird little unasked for fact about me. Mm -hmm. I feel like my bob is really starting to get... Get long. I'm trying to say if I want to put some layers in or let it get a little longer so I can still put it into the clock clip and stuff without. I like her hair and everything. I personally, for her, I, I don't like her hair parted in the middle. I, I like it when. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't like her, their, her hair parted in the middle. It sits her on the side better. Ever she styles it more to the side, mm. but, but that's just my personal opinion. Piece is falling out. So, yeah, today and tomorrow it's going to be mostly Yarmin recovering his follow appointment in the morning tomorrow. I'll take him to um, Marco with him, too. I think he'll be able to see and all that just fine. And then on Sunday, I'm so excited. We have some of Yar's family coming in from out of town, um, and then we're having some of his other family come too and just have like a little family day. I'm going to meet a baby that I've never met before, and she's so freaking cute. And then I'm going to see my nephew, who I've showed you guys before. He's so sweet. And yeah, it's going to be such a fun, fun day with babies, and we haven't told them yet. So, um, I'm not going to post my first trimester diaries until Sunday night after. Oh, okay, so this all happened before she posted it so they wouldn't know. Okay, well, I mean, it's nice, ultimately, if she got to tell them before they just learned from a YouTube video, you know? It's nice to be able to have that experience um, of, of getting to tell them in person. After we tell them in person, um, and I'm just super excited to you know start to tell people, so we'll be telling people on. And I just feel bad, because like, I feel like Alex's baby is just going to end up, and kid is going to end up being this really privileged, spoiled, mm -hmm. doesn't want for anything. Yep little fat kid <laughs> little fat kid absolutely absolutely especially the spoiled part like that i'm afraid that's like what it's gonna be like i don't like the kid's gonna have whatever it wants she has a nice home she's not afraid to spend money and buy things this kid will have everything nice at once but i i it's gonna have a problem with mm -hmm. with with weights and and diet and health because his mom is very hazy as far as like health at every size and um i hope she really gets out of that rhetoric and doesn't start pushing that and teaching that to her kid because the habits you you give your kid are going to be what shapes their habits for life and yeah. later on in life when they're an adult they are harder to change than if they are just used to something for life that's why I'm trying to teach my son as many healthy things as i can because um I don't want him to have to completely relearn a lot of things about food and health and 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 diet and stuff like that when he's an adult. Uh, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. So I can't wait for that, but I just want to check in and start this vlog. I don't know. So is her her skin always really bad like that, or is that kind of like hormonal acne? I I think her I think her skin's always really bad like that, right? It's a it's a shame because like um if she lost the weight and cleaned up her diet, that would actually probably help that a lot because acne is can very much be a hormonal thing, and I being overweight is uh it messes up your hormones uh fat is not a benign substance it just sits on your body it's very estrogenic and um can just wreak havoc on your hormones oh random bruni and i are manning the couch all right i will check back in later and let you guys know how his surgery went all right yours all uh cleaned up yeah. you guys I are, I are. she explained the drops he goes back home the whole thing is like in and out he's in the room for okay. the of the day so scary you know so um we just got home just you can see like the eye up close they look when you wake up from the nap it's just, i'm just giving them i started watching glasses. Glasses. Yeah, even with your sunglasses on it's like bright with the lights <laughs> Cool. been afraid they come like little individual ones but they feel good and you put them in so yeah. good his eyes were very large yesterday they look their flaps look good your eye flaps i showed him the video i want to say what she says when she gets up to the fish and chip pot see i couldn't get lasik because i am very weird about my eyes and i just i'm terrified of having them go and do like a procedure on my actual eyeball <laughs> i can't do it like you sleep awake right now fine with wearing glasses and contacts so Me at the too. end of the day it's i like wearing funky quirky glasses and and stuff like that so i'm okay with it but i can see why somebody like him active in the army at jobs like that wouldn't want to have to deal with glasses so you're watching what was it first oh, gift boxes look how freaking cute this is guys this is the gift we got for our niece these little customized baby hair brushes that's really cute a nice really like a wooden uh brush that that's with her nice. name on them like a little heart so we got like customized gifts for both of them that came in the box came just in time for them to come tomorrow um and then i gotta go get gift bags so you do it all yeah, so this good. isn't like her baby shower this is a um like a, a reveal party like a we're pregnant party okay oh, try it. oh my god okay yara and i are out to lunch and tomorrow's st patrick's day and we both forgot so it's um it's very green but is cereal milk no sure. do you want to try it no. <laughs> oh my gosh guys look how much fish came with the fish and chips jesus christ on a cracker <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ on a cracker. <laughs> 
I have never heard that before. I love it. I love her accent too. <laughs> She's funny. This is like, do you see what I mean? Like, yes, we do. Oh, guys, I was craving fish. Oh, I was just craving this. My pregnancy is doing it. This looks delicious and authentic, you know, but it's just a plate of deep fried carbs. Exactly. I really cannot remember the last time I had something deep fried. Oh, no, yes, I did. I was thinking about it yesterday. It was the calamari rings. That's right. It was the calamari rings, but that's because I was at a birthday party. And they came around offering, and I thought, oh, God, yeah, I'll have one of those. I haven't had calamari ring in God knows how long. But it's not like I go out and eat fried food. I just don't. Everything in my house is mostly air fried um, or oven baked, which is pretty similar to the air fryer. It's just if I'm cooking something that's, you know, um, got a sauce in it of some sort or lemon and garlic thing, I'll cook that in the oven. But um, I really do not eat fried food. I did before my surgery, not this one, before my gastric sleeve, obviously. Uh, but after it, no, haven't. With a side of coleslaw and a little bit of fish. Mm. Um, I'm sure it's delicious, but like she could have, this has, this is, this plate is probably like 1500 calories. Um, this is where you can make better choices. If you want the fries, not the best choice but get ask don't get a deep fried fish get a get a broiled or grilled fish grilled. with fries on the side yeah. or skip the fries and get a salad get an extra coleslaw um you do realize you're talking to alex here <laughs> you do realize you're talking to alex love um she just wants what tastes good and it's not good enough to have a grilled fish it's just not good enough or if you really just wanted the battered and fried fish just get the fish and a side of coleslaw. Skip the fries all together. Um, not only is this like just really calorically dense and a ton of sodium, but all this stuff is cooked in hydrogenated seed oils. It's just, it's not, I'm sure it tastes freaking delicious. Yeah. But, um. I mean, it looks delicious. It, the, just the puffiness of that, the, um, the outside of it, it looks fucking amazing. Um, the batter of it, yeah. <laughs> She needs to just make better choices. Definitely got dinner later, and then you got chicken. I, I mean, look at the okay, look at look at the difference. Yeah, look at the difference. Mm -hmm. Look at his plate. Look at her plate. Mm -hmm. That is why Yar is the size he is, mm -hmm. and that is why Alex is the size mm -hmm. she is. Yep. He got a small plate of chicken mm -hmm. with vegetable hash of some kind underneath it, and Alex got this big platter of deep fried beer battered fish and fries and. You know what I mean? Like, he is not the pregnant one, and he's actively making the better choices. And we're sharing fries. They're trouble. They're amazing. Yeah, it, that's plenty in, enough to share, but... Oh, my God. Guys, we just got back from lunch. Got so much fish for later. Don't put this yeah, no crap you had some for later. Like I said, that plate was probably at least 1,500 calories, and I tend to lowball it. Um, like I said, she could have gotten a baked or broiled or grilled fish. She could still, even not just for pregnancy, but Alex in general, because she's so big and she has so much weight to lose, you can still go out and have fun and do your things and enjoy yourself. Her husband was a perfect example. He got that baked kind of fish thing, that smaller, that she, she could have started picking something like that. You want fish? Get the broiled fish or something like that. Um, you know, the problem with all of these girls in girl world is this, they, they have to have instant gratification. Yes, especially this heifer. Um, food is and shopping are both good ways of, of, of getting that. Mm -hmm. And they just don't want to tell themselves no and no. deprive themselves of anything. No, no. She has to have everything. She's like a fucking spoiled brat in an adult obese body thing. And like, spoiler, sometimes you have to. Mm-hmm and air fryer for dinner it was really good oh i was just really in the mood for that like i wanted their buffalo chicken tip, so that's like one of my go-to's but then that just sounded really good and then we just stopped at the store and i got some like easter coloring books and markers or crayons for the uh, kids coming over tomorrow um so they'll have something to and she's got like a beautiful house and everything she's doing very well for herself she decorates well um she has that stuff together in her life. She just she just refuses to make the changes she needs to for her diet, for her own health. Yep. That's a that's a that's a shame. Do and then I also got gift bags for the little customized. Uh, Those are cute, very springy. Gifts that I showed you guys for the new babies. So cute. I love these little bags. Put little mushrooms on this one. I'm a mushroom freak. I love them. I love the aesthetic of them. We go 
foraging for them. Yes, I'm totally ignoring the fact that mushrooms aesthetically often remind you of other things. I'm not looking at it that way. Um, I, I like to go foraging. And actually, in the next few weeks, couple of weeks here, we get to start foraging for spring mushrooms around here. Never in my life have I found a morel. And I've been looking. I've been mushroom hunting for like eight years now, 10 years now. I'm hoping I find some. And I will actually, we'll be doing some vlogs and sharing uh, our mushroom hunting and hikes and walks. And Oh, that would be lovely. Love to see that foraging and, and, and adventures so i'm excited about that so yeah and then i just couldn't help myself <laughs> and a couple of little easter baskets for yeah see that's the problem is she, she can't help herself and she she if she wants something she's gonna get it mm -hmm. if she craves something mm -hmm. she wants to eat she's gonna have it that's right um there's no attempt at self-control like an no there is no attempt at self-control whatsoever with her whatsoever Chris, if you're listening, oh God, I would love you to go and have a look. I've reacted on it, but it's in it's in Alexandra's one too. Um, when she goes with her mum to, um, it was just, it wasn't that long ago, to some sort of carnival. She goes to a carnival, and they're taste testing all these kinds of disgusting food, like pickled on a pizza, and different other stuff. Um, Oh, you just have to react to that. That would be absolutely brilliant. I hope you do. Alex, I firmly believe, the more I'm watching her, the more I believe is she's one of the people that Amberlynn desperately wants to be. Yes. Apparently, her and Amberlynn get along quite well, and Amberlynn looks up to Alexandra. But Amber's just like a Walmart great value brand. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> and, and Amber emulates a lot of different people, but I definitely think... Alex is one of them. Um, the two older kids, since these are maybe for the babies, I just don't want them to feel, I don't want them to feel without. So I made a couple of little, uh, just little Those are cute. And I know, like, Easter is very centered around candy and stuff like that. For, uh, like, quite a few years now, I've had my family who want, like, my, my aunts will get my kiddo a lot of candy in his basket. But I've kind of told them, like, I don't want him eating that much candy. And honestly, he likes typical kid he likes his sweets he likes cookies and cake and ice cream and stuff like that he likes candy but he's not real big on it so i started pushing for easter instead of having like a very candy centered basket we'll get him a couple little gift cards in there maybe some pokemon cards some little toys or games something like that and some candy and a couple colored eggs couple some little plastic eggs with maybe coins or something inside you know uh so we can still have some of the easter candy but that the basket is not just super full of candy and exactly and look at this it's just fucking full of the most sugary sugary things she could get it's all fucking peeps and peeps are just almost 90 percent sugar and it's not centered around that and then i do have stuff for us to dye eggs this year he's going to be 12 in a couple weeks but we still dye eggs and stuff it's still a lot of fun and uh just do fun stuff like that um because like we, we end up not using the candy anyways we'll go out trick-or-treating he'll get a ton of candy he'll pick at it a little bit and then we still have the bag of candy like eight months from now so but that's really good oh. but that's because i've really been specific about not making uh every holiday about candy and sweets and like changing the theme of an easter basket and we don't go down the candy out like and, and i don't even have to say anything to my son anymore he doesn't even want to so ever since he was like three years old he know we just don't go down the candy out unless there is like something specifically we need for a, a purpose and and he just doesn't look at the candy out he doesn't want to go down there he doesn't think about it because um we just don't have those kind of snacks. So, so I mean, this is cute. She's got little toys and stuff like that in there. That's that's a really good way to set up an Easter basket to make it still fun for little kids, but not. It's one toy. <laughs> I think it's one toy. The rest is food. Just a great big sugar bun. Baskets for them. Just some little goodies. There's some candy on the bottom. Um, just that would be kind of fun. And then after everything, we're going to give these to our family members as well to tell them that we are that's cute. pregnant. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is. I need a robe to do get ready with me since I really like that robe. It's very kimono style. Oh my god. Oh Chris, I was really liking you. <laughs> Just joking, I still like you. Um, but I hate that robe. It is so ugly. Oh, I hate it. Each to their own. That's very nice. I like that color on her too. And currently it's Sunday, the day we get to have some family over and tell them we're pregnant. I'm super excited. Uh, I wonder how her mom mom reacted. I bet her mom freaked out. <laughs> Although I, I can't imagine that she didn't call her mom right away. She took a body shower. I forgot I had this robe. It was 
Exactly. She did a video on that. And her mum faked it in the car. You could tell her mum completely faked the, the shock of her being pregnant. It's like buried in my closet. And I forgot, I just love this freaking robe. I have had such yeah, trouble. I, I, like really I am such a trend follower and I will fully admit that. The derf, derf, derf. I have any robes that are so popular. I wanted to get one and they restocked. I thought about it too long and then they were sold out again. So here we are. But I love this robe. Currently shaving my face. But I already did. Yeah, she probably has like the little facial hairs and stuff from uh, problems with hormones. But it's it's very natural to get like little baby hairs on your face. Um, is that called microblading or microplaning or something? Whatever it is, that shaving your face, like getting all those baby hairs off, I have to do it. I'm due. It is like such a game changer, ladies, for uh, putting on your foundation and your makeup. It just Absolutely. I, I agree. I don't use that, though. I actually use a really light, very, very light wax strip. The wax, the wax isn't that grippy, but it's just enough to grip that, those little light hairs on my, um, on my cheeks that I have slay so much better like i seriously invest in a good razor like this or something and get or, or like a professional one or go if you can if you have the money and someone to do it like a salon in your area get the the face shave oh my god it's it's such a game changer i can't believe the difference it makes i found some videos on it once like accidentally on youtube and i couldn't believe the difference in here my skin throughout pregnancy <laughs> it had a phase where it was doing okay in the beginning when i was using the dime skincare and like my skin was really agreeing with the dime skincare but then by the time i got to but i don't think it's just pregnancy alex i think you're i think you always have problems with your skin exactly and it's like the end of all the products my skin wasn't liking it anymore which is a bummer so i'll probably try that again when i'm not pregnant anymore because my skin like i think before i was pregnant i think that la roche posay is doing doing the best it can right now my skin feels a little dry though with this like weather change so i'm using the la mercier perfecting primer because it feels caffeine that i'm allowed to drink but i never Wait, this and stuff. the family is gonna be here around 11 and it's 9 30 so i got my button here i got up and had breakfast and just hung out i'm drinking some coffee i am still drinking caffeine my doctor was like really strict he didn't allow me to have coffee like caffeine so i, I had some decaf which i know still has caffeine in it but just not as much but he was really strict i wasn't allowed to get like fake nails or wear nail polish or get my hair dyed or anything oh, he was wow. like really strict about chemicals and stuff like that mm. so he would have been a no-go with the he was he must have been old school nothing wrong with that but yeah old school though those doctors really were no 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 about all of that stuff full caffeine coffee that i'm allowed to drink but i never go over 200 milligrams a day so i still drink my blonde roast iced coffee and then i'll make like a matcha at home i can show you guys how i do that another day when i make it but i'm not sure what we're gonna do with the fam today because they're gonna be here like for the whole day we're gonna just do like a big family day so i'm not really sure what the plans are i also don't now i'm a makeup lover from way back and i do dramatic makeup and over the top i used to have to do that when i was a figure skater because you know like when you're out there like on a stage type thing it, it shows up better yeah and i like a lot of makeup now i i really love that i know some people are like oh all the makeup is too thick and too crazy i like a lot of makeup and i like having coverage and stuff like that and i even now when i do videos i'll do maybe a little bit more of a dramatic makeup when i stream occasionally my uh gaming on twitch i'll do some dramatic makeup do funny little quirky uh like uh half-ass cosplay type makeup and stuff like that but this is a lot of foundation i mean it's literally running down her face <laughs> Oh. No, if I'm gonna record telling them I recently let it slip to my family when I was at I was my just grandparents. Gonna say, wait till she says it, put it on. I am glad though that I got my mom's reaction on camera. That's in the first trimester. It's like a mask. So at least I got that on camera. Oh look at this. This is makeup just such a fun process. Trust the process. It has been just it's funny because that robe is very kimono esque and with as, as much of that foundation she has put on is why it looks like she's like dressing up to be a geisha. <laughs> She's far from a geisha. They are so feminine and so petite. <laughs> but yes, I know what she's talking about. Full last like three, four days. <laughs> now today it's like raining. Let me see if it's going to stop though. I don't think it's cold. 48. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, this is exciting. It's going to actually get up to 60. It's a cold rainy day. I'm a side sleeper. Yeah, I love it. Oh, right. oh my goodness. Yeah, like it's, it's very, it's like a geisha look. I don't know. <laughs> Why? It just it feels better. I know that's something for them, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to speed through doing the makeup and then figure out what I'm going to wear. And stuff like that. And us fat girls who, you know, lose our jawlines and stuff like that, it's, it's a really nice trick to learn. <laughs> On the mic and I just keep missing, so I'm not even trying 100% anymore because I don't want you to keep hearing this, that, you know what I mean? <laughs> i just got one of these uh like hair wavers like to do micro like microwave <laughs> mermaid waves and i love it um 
It's they are fun. I love them. I love doing them on my clients. It's such satisfaction. It's tricky because I have really long hair. And it's, I, I, my hair is the longest it's ever been. And I'm trying to uh, grow it longer. I just want to grow it longer, but I want it to be healthy. So it just takes a lot of time to actually do the wave. And it doesn't hold the wave quite as much as I want because my hair is heavy. Mm. But this is great. It's a nice beachy look. I love it. Um, and I just have so much hair. I actually just shave my sides now. Um, you know, kind of that Viking look. But I kept it up because I did it just for aesthetics. But I keep it up now because it just, it's easier to do, like to, to maintain my hair as far as shampoo and conditioner and hair dye. It, it just saves me a lot of time and money to have the side shaved because my hair is just so thick and stuff that I still have a ton of hair. And that's a really big thing at the moment. I do that a fair bit. A lot of clients like to have the underneath shaved or the side shaved because they have so much hair. And it does save them on colour and it certainly does save them on time when they have to dry their hair. And you can't really tell unless you've got it lifted up. And I can wear my hair down and style it and look very conservative if I want to. You wouldn't even know the sides were shaved, but then I pull it up and it's like that little Viking look. Yeah, see, I like her hair to the side more than parted down the middle for her. Th that's... You guys, here's the outfit. It's super simple. Yeah, like that looks really cute. I like that. I like that look. I kind of like that length of hair on her. I like that style. I like that outfit too. She does look nice. Like it's, like I said, it's sad that she won't get her act together mm -hmm. with her, her weight because um, she, she would look like... Well, look, she could be, she could look really beautiful. She could look stunning, but she'd still be ugly on the inside. Really good if she lost, I mean, God, even if she just lost 125 pounds or something like that. But I mean, she's always <laughs> yeah. going to be in denial about food and be like a bopo goofball. And she's always going to be like this kind of like shallow consumer. But, you know, she could at least get her health in order a little bit. I took on this um, cropped white muscle tee from Target, and it's one of my favorite pants from Urban Outfitters. It's going to get warm on here. I'm going to take this off and just, I prefer how it looks without the jacket, but it's just like an easy. I can't wait to see how fun it's going to be to maintain this very white, light colored house. And same. Like living room and stuff with, with a kid. Because <laughs> you're better off going with dark colors with kids because, oh my God. Stains happen everywhere. Even you can't even explain how some of them happen. Yeah, spring off. I'm gonna wear my working socks because I got pedicure. I, I had need to actually invest in a bit of a vlogging camera this year, guys, and I think I'm going to, so I can do some better content and stuff like that. Uh, that's coming down the pipe. I don't. I can't like afford to spend a ton of money on one, but I don't want to get a super cheap one. So if you guys know of any good cameras that are kind of like a vlogging camera, video camera, camera that takes pictures all in one, within a, a good price price range maybe no more than like 300 bucks or around that area put it in the comments and let me know because i am definitely up for suggestions i package um so I just and obviously if as the channel grows if it gets bigger and i have the money and stuff like that I, I will keep investing in more and more stuff like i do want to get my living room set up so that i can do some reacts again with my face cam and um i uh, have considered getting a green screen and stuff so there are oh, good on you. there are plans for for the uh items for the channel to help help me bring you guys better quality of content guys i posted a reel on instagram like i think she looks pretty like that i like she's got pretty blue eyes her hair looks nice i like those bobby pins i thought to show you really quick um oh, here it is the ring is this is the new avery ring um and then i also did that one in my friend fry i like her nails seeing all these girls getting their nails done make me want to get mine done the problem is is I can't get really long ones and I've got little tiny little hobbit hands and little tiny nail beds so I don't know if it's worth it um I can't have my nails really long because I make jewelry for my shop and I'm holding and clasping and like gripping little teeny tiny o-rings and chain and and beads and and really long nails make that very difficult of here um it's large I know it's in, uh, nail crystal in the back of this new one here called and I was listening necklace it's so pretty it's like a thick um beaded necklace I do like that I like that. It's simple. But I so like I think it. it looks really cute with the other beaded pieces. I admittedly admit that I like tacky stuff. But that's not tacky. That's actually really nice. From them. Do you know how much I love them? Some foot. Oh, look at this baby. Look at those eyes and those I chubby know. cheeks. Oh, my goodness. That baby has a lot of hair, too. Oh, how cute. <laughs> hey, you guys. Back in my spot on the couch with my afternoons. Oh, God. Okay. So. Please comment. Please comment on how much fucking peanut butter she's got in there. This is not a bad snack. That's a lot of peanut butter. Yes. But if she would cut her calories back 
so that she was losing a little bit of weight or god even at worst maintaining okay like just don't gain weight um this is not a bad snack this is a good snack uh it's better than like potato chips and candy and cookies and pie um i just don't think she needs to be adding this in to what she's already eating um you know with the excuse of oh i have to eat more because i'm eating for two like no cut back on what you're eating and replace something else you're eating that's not necessarily healthy like protein pasta with this and th this this is a good snack okay. more fruit um honey crisp apple with peanut butter little protein little fruit i like this better than the grapes but like i said she, sh she shouldn't be adding this on to what she's already eating mm -hmm. because she's already eating too much on the daily Mm. These are my favorite plates. I'll link them on Amazon. They have yeah, a I like those. Buffer dipping. It's perfect for like. I did recently just get an Amazon affiliate link. Um, somebody told me I should actually, so I did. So I link stuff down below. So if there's any links or anything, I make sure I try to write that it's an Amazon affiliate link too. But if you want to check out stuff that I recommend or that I'm using or whatever, um, it's that my shop my my soap shop information is that's all down in the com you know in the in the description box um my shop doesn't have anything new in it right now it doesn't have any soaps and stuff there will be stuff being added for the spring so i will definitely keep you guys updated on that if you want to support the channel by way of purchasing something from the shop then that's awesome but it's, it's down there for those of you who would be interested in looking at it and my uh jewelry and my keychains and stuff i have changed up the style quite a bit so actually once i get my items made and get new stuff stocked i'm probably going to clearance the stuff that if you went to the shop site now that you currently see that stuff will probably all be clearanced because i have the chicken little sauce or this <laughs> i don't know i love these little plates i use them all the time so it is now monday i want to give you guys a little update on how yesterday went i did not vlog yesterday i'm sorry looking back i really wish i did because when we told yard's family some of them that were here we can tell his whole family in person but um the ones that were here we told them the reaction was <laughs> so awesome i'm sure they were really excited like you know what I mean? And like I said, I hope, I hope it works out. She's going through the things and the announcements and stuff. Um, I just hope, because I know she has fertility issues, that, um, that everything continues to go well. Uh, we've given the gifts to the parents of the two babies. Um, my two sisters. I'm still here, guys. I'm just listening. <laughs> And we hand it to them and they like love their presents for the kids. And we're all kind of chatting. We're like, oh, we have um, we also got you guys like some celebratory drinks here. And we hand it to them and they were like reading it. And at first, um, my sister in law was saying how she thought it was just like because it says the word baby on it, so she thought it was just like congrats on your baby. And then when they actually read, we've been keeping a little secret, we're having a baby. My other sister in law screamed, <laughs> like shook the house. It was awesome. That's good. I'm gonna end it here, guys. I don't think there's anything else. There's only five minutes left. I'll link this below, like I said, as I always do. Um, it's really good. She got to tell her family and that she's she's doing well and stuff. Like I said, she really just needs to be on point with her nutrition. She needs to actually still cut her calories a a little a little bit try to lose a few pounds during the pregnancy or at least maintain i know she's gonna gain we know she's gonna gain but this is just what i would like to see and i would like to see her replace some of her current little snacks and stuff like that with the healthier like the apple and peanut butter and stuff we saw here at the end um not tacking those snacks on to ever like the same amount she's currently already eating but anyways um i hope you guys like this one i do have some more there's so much going on in girl world now <laughs> i literally can do reacts and have stuff coming out every single day sometimes two videos a day so it's it's really just a jumping time right now in the girl world so i hope you like the content i will see you guys in the next one i'm gonna try to get this one out today and there will be more from the other girlies all the girlies coming down the pipeline like i said uh for now you can uh all right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you again to, for Chris for letting me um, – thank you for the shout-out. And also thank you um, for letting me do commentary on this one and letting me share um, share this video with um, all my subscribers who obviously have gone over to your page now. And it's lovely that we can share, and I think it's really nice. And people get to know other people. Glad I found you. And um, – I hope you keep doing more Alex it's it's just wonderful um hopefully she'll comment she'll do another one on the one that came out today that'll be good was it today came out yeah yeah Monday yeah all right my friends I'm gonna go for now and I'll see you in my next video thank you bye for now